Hello, this is Mr. Painter with another Fabulous Excel tutorial. Today, we're working on AA5 graph a line using slope. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to graph a line that has a slope of 6 and includes the point 0, 0. So remember, for the most part, slope is always going to be a fraction. Now, if it's not a fraction, in this case, it is a whole number, we can add a 1 underneath it for something called the run. So let's talk about the slope a little bit more in depth before we really get started. So remember that slope equals rise over run. The way this works is rise means to go up and the run means to go right or left. If you go left, you are counting in a negative direction. And if you're going to the right, you're counting in a positive direction. Now notice here that six over one is a positive direction. So we're gonna count up then to the right. All right, let's start with zero, zero. So starting with zero, zero, that is gonna be the point at something called the origin. The origin is the very center of the graph. Now notice here that we only have the right top quadrant. So now for our slope, we're gonna count up six and go to the right, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, then a run of one. So once again, if there is a whole number, you need to remember to put it over a fraction of always one. So we counted up six and counted to the right one. And there we go. We got ourselves a line. All right, next up, graph a line that has a slope of eight and includes the point zero, 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 zero there. And we have a whole number of eight. We need to include the run of one. So we're going to count up eight and then go to the right one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right one. And there we go. That is our line of a slope of eight, including zero, zero. All right, next up, we're going to start with the point uh, four, two. So when looking for the point four, two, four means to count to the right, four, and two means to count up, two. After we graph that point, we're going to go ahead and locate the one for the rise and count up one, then count to the right, four. But we're going to start with the point first. So let's go ahead and locate that point. So we're going to count to the right, four, one, two, three, four and up two, one, two. And now this creates a point to where I can graph a second point to create the line. Now by using the slope, I'm gonna count up one, because remember one is the rise, and then four for the run. One, two, three, four, and there we go. So just to recap, we're gonna start with our point. We did four comma two there. Then our slope here, is the new direction of the second point. So we're gonna count up one and to the right, one, two, three, four. So that's where the one over four comes in handy for the second point. All right, let's go ahead and turn that in and we're gonna clear the board. All right, we need to find the point two nine first, then we're gonna graph one half. So two, nine, let's go to two, one, two, up nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, lands right there. And our slope of rise one over two, one, two, we'll create that line just like that. Next up, we're going to go ahead and find 0, 2. Now, when it's 0, that means don't go left and or don't go right, but we're just going to simply count up by 2. So let's do that. Count up by 2. 1, 2. Click. And then we're going to count up 8. Ooh, let me restart here. We're going to count up by 1, then to the right 8. So from the point up 1, to the right eight one two three four five six seven eight and there we go 
All right, again, start with the point zero, one. Zero means don't go left, don't go right, but just simply count up one from the origin. So we're going to count up, and there we go. We land our point there. And then our slope is going to determine where to go. Now be careful, the slope is a whole number. So this is the point where we need to add a one underneath it. So from the last point, we're going to count up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To the right, one. Next up, we're going to find the point five, three. So we're going to count to the right, five, and up three. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, up three. One, two, three. All right, next up, uh, a slope of two, five. So we're going to go up two, one, two, and over five. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, next, we're going to go ahead and graph a line that has, careful now, we have negative 9 over 8. It includes the point zero, 09. So let's start with the 0 and count up only 9 because 0 means we don't go right or left, but we're only going up 9. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 lines right there. All right, now... Normally, what we can do is we can put the negative with the denominator, which means to count left. But the problem is, if we count anywhere to the left, we are in no man's land. There's nothing there. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put that negative with the numerator. And instead of going up, we're now going to go down. And because 8 is going to stay positive, we're going to go down and right. So here we go. Down 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're back at the origin. Count to the right, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So just to recap on that, what happens when the slope is negative? You have two options. Negative 9 over 8 is the same thing as negative 9 over 8 or positive 9 over negative 8. You can pick which one you want. No negative for both. Bad. Don't do that. Okay, so only one negative either with the numerator or the denominator, but not both. You have to pick which one it goes. And in this case, we went with the second option or the first option with go down nine into the right eight. All right. Um, that should help us out. We're at a smart score of 55. Just got to get some notes in there to help us out. All right. Uh, we have a point of two seven. So we're going to count to the right two and up seven. One, two. And up seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the slope of three, from that point, we're going to count up another three, then to the right two from the point. One, two, three, and to the right two, one, two. And there's a line. All right, next we have the point six, nine. So from the origin, we're going to count to the right, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and up 9, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, lands right there. And this one's very interesting, a slope of 0 has come up, and even though it's a whole number, 0 over 1 is still equal to 0. So adding a 0 or a 1 in this case for the denominator doesn't do anything. All right, um, slope of zero is a flat line. So you can create a second point anywhere you want. You can go here, 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 or here, 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 or here. So you can pick whatever one you want. 
up and down would be incorrect. So it has to be sl uh, slope of zero. That means if you put a ball or you walk on it, it should just be perfectly flat, which indicates no slope. But slope of zero, you got to pick a point just so it's flat. All right, uh, what else we got? We got the point zero six. The point zero six, we have um, don't go left, but don't go right, but count up six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The slope of four means go up four more from the last point and to the right three. One, two, three, four, and to the right three. One, two, and three. It lands right there. Next, we have graph the line with the slope of negative 2 over 3 and includes the point negative 6 and 2. Now, we got quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. We got all four quadrants, which actually makes it a little bit more fun because it was pretty easy the whole time. So, make it a little bit more challenging. So, from the origin, because we have negative 6, we are going to count left this time. Then, after we count left, we're going to count up 2. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 6. Again, counting to the left and up to one, two, lands right there. Now, from that point, we're going to go, let's say, now, let's put the negative with the denominator. So, I want to go up two and left three. So, one more time, we're going to go up two. And because the negative is going to go with the three, we're going to count to the left from there. All right. Here we go, uh, up two, one, two, and left three. One, two, and three completes our line. All right, we have the point zero, three. Zero means don't go left, don't go right, but the three means count up three. One, two, three. And the negative, once again, we're gonna go ahead and put the negative with the five. So we're going to count up nine and count to the left five. Now you're going to notice we're going to see a problem. So watch what happens when I count nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I ran out of room. So counting up nine is not enough, is not an option because you ran out of space. So remember what I did is I did not positive nine over negative five but remember our other option is to switch a negative what about counting down nine and going to the right five it's actually the same thing so we need to choose the second option where the negative is with the numerator which means we're gonna go down instead of go up all right here we go down nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine to the right five one two three four and five lands right there all right looks like we need one more point to get our smart score of 80. we have the point zero nine Zero means don't go left, don't go right, but count down nine. Negative one, negative two, negative three, four, five, six, seven, eight, negative nine right there. Slope of one means go up one to the right seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven lands right there. And there we go. This concludes your tutorial for IXL AA5, a graph a line using slope. Have a fantastic day.